Hi, um, I'm going to walk you through very quickly the process of making something with Esprino. So, um, Esprino is running on this little board here and it's disconnected by USB and this is a terminal application. So anything I type in here is immediately executed. Um, you know, like I can say, leave one.set and if I can find it already, he one is just there. That's a slightly dodgy connection by the look of it. Um, so uh, what I'm going to try and do is recreate the um, touch screen lighting controller. So the first step is uh, on the website there is an example showing how to use a touch screen which I'll just copy and paste in. And then when I move a finger on here I should be able to draw um, like that. So next step uh, we want I've attached this uh, LED strip and there's an example there showing how to um, how to use the LED strip. It's actually on a um, slightly different SPI port, so I've got to got to change a few things. But now that's done and it's set up, I can then send some data. Um, this will actually just send the value red to the very first LED, which is great. Uh, and I can make this maybe the second LED green. So that works. Um, then maybe what we'll want to do is to um, make a uh, a variable called cull, which will actually store the colour in it. Um, so maybe we just want to do blue. So we'll have R, G and B. And then we'll copy that code from before. And we'll just replace these um, the numbers. Okay, so that's done. Uh, that color. Now let's just put that into a function called set LEDs. And then we'll step back to where um, where the touch callback was that we just copy and pasted in, and we'll set the color the red to um, to X and the green to Y. And then we'll just call that set LEDs function that we made just now. So now if I move this, I can I can change the um, the LED by by how I move my finger. Now obviously we can only use X and Y there so we can't adjust blue at all. Um, so what we might want to do is have bars. So if I make a function well the slide is if I make a function called draw sliders, it'll just draw some areas of um, of different colours on the screen. So LCD dot fill rect. Uh, these are two x y values. So we'll oh yeah, well, let's make them sixty wide. Um, and the LCD is actually two hundred and forty deep. And we'll make that first one red. And I'll just copy this code and do the other ones. So that's between 16 and 120. That's between 120 and 180. And we'll just change the colours so that we've got red, green, and blue. And if we say draw sliders now, if I haven't messed anything up, We'll have those. So now, if we go back to our touch um, touch callback, we can say if x is less than one hundred, uh, no, if x is less than sixty, col dot red equals x. Uh, if x is less than one twenty, col dot green equals x. Ah, which means y actually. If X is less than 180. Do blue. And again, we just set it up. So now we have this thing where hopefully we can we can set it to black if we want. We can do blue, green. I hope is that green? No. Okay. And the reason for this is that we haven't put else's in. Um, so if I just add those. Immediately, this should work now, which it does.
red, green, blue. Um, so that's great. We we can change the color of one LED. Um, yeah, maybe we want to uh, change the color of all of them at once. So we can go back and we can edit our set LEDs function. Um, let's put that one in the line. <laughs> Oops. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to make an array. Um, and we've got, say, 50 LEDs. So if I say, oh, I was not, I was less than 50. So now we're putting all the data in 50 times um, and we're going to send it all at once. So if you want to make it purple, you can just do that. <laughs> 